Okay, so you got your $300 or your $400 woofers. You have your $900 amp, and now you're going to skimp out on batteries. Now let's discuss battery technology. It's only natural to have the best quality batteries you can get if you already have the best quality subwoofers and amplifier. And we have here Excess Power, which is a brand that does not compromise on quality. And I want to discuss a little bit of the uh, uh, what sets them apart from other brands and uh, basic uh, car batteries out there, but also uh, what the difference is in between the three series they offer, the S series, the D series, and the XP series. Now I do have Edwin Edwin is standing by Excess Power headquarters and he's going to talk to Nathan and try and get a little bit of inside information on the new things that they have to offer. Uh, but we'll check up with Edwin a little bit later. Um, I want to talk about this technology and give myself five minutes. So I have a timer here and we'll start now. Okay, first let's talk about what makes a car battery, uh, how it's constructed. We have uh, these plates made of lead, and there's two types of lead, lead and lead oxide, and these plates are submerged, in the case of a wet cell battery, submerged into a liquid dielectric made up of sulfuric acid and water. And that's what makes up the most of the weight and the space of the battery. And these plates are uh, sandwiched together, and the sandwiches are called cells and in the case of a 12 volt battery we have six cells connected electrically in series to make 12 volts and when we have an electrical load present uh, these plates uh, start uh, exhibiting a chemical reaction where electrons flow in between the plates and this creates a voltage and in the case of excess powers AGM batteries absorbed glass mat uh, we no longer have a liquid dielectric, we have a glass matte material that is saturated in the dielectric. And this matte material is placed in between each of the plates. And now that we have a battery that doesn't have as much weight because of liquid, we can fill it up with more lead. So the plates are larger, greater surface area, and more lead, allowing more of a chemical reaction. And uh, this basically gives us a greater current capabilities because we have more of the chemical reaction going on. And let's talk about the difference in between the series. The D series and the S series are the same internally. The difference is the S series, which is a racing battery, comes with this steel box, which is a heat shield for under the hood mounting. And now these are also available separately, so you can get them for the D series. And it comes with these terminal posts which are also sold separately that you can get for the D series. So that's the basic difference there. Now the XP series, which is a new series, uh, is not just a cheaper, cheaper version. It's a different type of battery. It's constructed different internally, where we have a great surface area of the plates on the D series. This gives it a great uh, current on demand, short burst high current capabilities. And I have a chart here that uh, shows this. And the XP series has a large amount of lead, but not as much surface area. So its current capabilities over time are greater, has a greater reserve, amp hour rating is a lot higher, as you can see. Now this makes for a great combo uh, when, when building your system. Having the D series under the hood for starting the engine and also giving you a little bit of that power uh, right away but adding supplemental batteries in the rear uh, to be able to play your audio system for a long period of time and having that reserve there. Now the uh, the quality of materials is very important in the battery and in the case of excess power they use 100% uh, pure virgin lead and what this is is the, a lot of batteries nowadays are using recycled lead and recycled lead reduces the life of the battery. Uh, basically, in the recycling process, it's very sloppy. The two types of lead in the plates are mixed together, melted together, and the refining process can never make that lead pure ever again. So now you have a battery uh, that uses recycled or even partially recycled lead that has undergo undergone chemical reactions before, and this cuts down the life of that battery. Sometimes less than a year where the pure lead in an excess power battery can last 10 years and uh, the other difference if you take a look up here on the D series you can see 
the uh, terminal pad. Uh, now it utilizes small steel bolts and steel is not a good conductor. So it's uh, to the untrained eye, uh, they might see other brands out there that use a large bolt, uh, but the, uh, the better uh, 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 way of doing it here is, is having the large terminal pad, which is pure lead going right to the internal connection of the cell, allowing for a higher rate of current transfer through the pad and if you see the uh, XP series they do not need as large a pad because you don't have that large amount of current going through that terminal in a short amount of time it's spaced out over time um, so that's one difference the other is the internal connections follow the same suit where they're much larger much stronger welds from cell to cell uh, ensuring a higher rate of current transfer in between the cells and then out of the battery to your electrical system. And uh, most batteries out there that use recycled lead have been shown to, to not last uh, even up to uh, two or three years. And Excess Power offers a three year warranty uh, that really shows off their longevity. And uh, I'm almost out of time here, so let's go to Edwin and let's see what kind of information he got from Excess Power headquarters. Okay, I'm here at Excess Power Headquarters with Nathan. And Nathan, do you think you can show us some of the top secret prototype stuff you're working on? Uh, no. Oh, well, that that's Edwin signing off from uh, Excess Power Headquarters. Hey, maybe we could have dinner at your house later. Uh, no. Oh, bye. Okay, good job there, Edwin. That was a lot of useful information. Uh, hopefully he's gonna try again and uh, get in there and see if he can uh, see anything new and exciting happening at S XS Power. And stay tuned for more of my informative uh, tech talks here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you're aware of when uh, a lot of these great videos are uploaded. And go to our Facebook and check out uh, our website at showtimecaraudio.net and see what else you can uh, learn about XS Power. Thank you once again and stay classy, Car Audio.